This is probably the most blade hacking you'll ever see. Now the person in question is Weep V6, who's playing Kali. And his counterpart is Hannah's alt, who's playing Thermite. Now I have my two buddies with me, we're squatted up. It's Try Me and McCooligan, and I'm playing Zero. But right now, for some reason, Kali just has to stop in the middle of their run in order for them to probably alt tab and toggle their cheats on. Now, this is kind of like a small detail that most people wouldn't recognize as alt tabbing, so that way they can turn on their cheats. But continue watching this, and you're gonna see some pretty damning evidence of this person cheating. They make it so obvious, like, at this point, they're not even trying to hide it. Now, this is some weird movement here. Not so sure what's going on. But, check this out. Now, if you haven't figured it out, Kali is a sniper operator who has a bolt-action rifle. They're not supposed to fire their entire magazine in rapid succession like that. Not only that, Weep V6 kills someone through the floor! Not even aiming. Not only that Weep V6 is unloading a full magazine through the floor and killing someone, they're rappelling inside the building and clipping through the floor. Now, I bet you you're wondering what is going on here we're watching drone footage, but we're hearing gunshots? Well, this is what's actually happening. I'm not so sure how he's able to control the drone while being in this position, clipping through the floor, but let's rewind it back and see what it looks like from the enemy's perspective. Attackers are heading out but check this out. Instantly waxed. And you can see that they are repelled through the floor, clipped through the floor, and is doing this weird glitching thing. Insane, absolutely insane. Now, that's pretty obvious hacking right there. And that is the first round. And I bet you you're wondering, well, it couldn't get worse than that. It certainly does. So right here, you'll notice that the drone is in super speed. I am not fast forwarding this. I'm not messing with the replay. That is how fast it's blasting through this entire map. It's insane, it's insane. Now we're gonna go ahead and skip ahead. And we're gonna see something strange where we're pretty conscious now of weep v6 hacking but we weren't entirely sure i mean this was the first round so typically some people troll on the other team and would just assume someone's hacking but right here you will see some more evidence of hacking and we didn't notice this until after the second round So running full sprint, same position, same spot, kill someone through the floor, again, not even aiming, doing his weird drone throwing thing, repels through the floor, and after that just wipes the floor of everyone. Just wipes the floor with everyone, my goodness. Now let's look at it from a different perspective. Now we're gonna free cam this. Dies through the floor. Repels through the floor. Again. Right there. And just... Just goes to town. These poor kids didn't have a chance. Now, I bet you you're wondering, it couldn't possibly get worse than this. It certainly does. So now, we are completely aware of Weep V6 hacking. And... My buddies, Try Me and McCooligan, made it their mission to team kill this person. Now you're gonna witness some really, really weird stuff that I, I'm not even entirely sure if this is a new hack or something, but this is all new to me. So check this out. So we're gonna go ahead and fast forward real quick because this part's not really that interesting. Runs through. Pre-firing everything while running. Clipping through the floor again. 
And then you're going to see here, try me downing him. Now, for some reason, my buddy got downed too. But Weep V6 manages to pick himself back up, by the way. And then my buddy McHooligan finishes him off. Now, this is kind of strange. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. But let's look at it through the perspective of my buddy. And notice how in our names, we don't have a red triangle warning of team killing. Because if we get that, then we're going to get reverse damage. Now, my buddy Try Me downs Ash, and he gets the triangle warning. Now, he has reverse damage on him. Now, I'm not entirely sure if Weep V6 shot him or he did something where he's going to be completely immune to damage. But now, after McHooligan kills him, now all three of us have that red triangle warning. And here's the weird thing. I had nothing to do with that at all. I didn't get any piece of that action. And I still managed to get the red triangle warning. So any damage that we do to our teammates will be reverse damage to us. Granting Weep V6 immunity. You're going to notice that Hannah's ult does not have that red triangle. So perhaps Hannah's ult could possibly be in cahoots with Weep V6. So we're going to fast forward and we're going to see at this point. Well, that was actually kind of strange. I'm going to be honest with you. Let's go back real quick. But well, you're going to see some blatant walling right there. Right there. Now, that, that was too quick, right? That was way too quick. We're going to fast forward just a little bit. And this one, this time it's not even going to be. It's going to be obvious. They're not even hiding. Right there perfectly aligns with our enemy's head. Wow. I don't, I'm not so sure what's going on with that. Probably the reason why they have to cheat is because they're so bad at this game. But watch this right here. Again, knows exactly where the other guy is. And after this, is it's pretty sad, actually. You're going to see why they have to cheat. Bad aim. Completely whiffs it. Even with walls, completely whiffs it. So weird. And then right here, the other team completely wipes the floor with them. It's just like, at this point, it's like, what's the point of playing a multiplayer game if you have to cheat? So again, we're we're very aware of Weep B6 hacking. So now both of my friends, McHooligan and Try Me, are just trolling Weep B6 or trying to kill him in the prep phase. Now you can't kill anybody in the prep phase. So you're gonna see McHooligan instantly die because he has reverse damage on him. Along with me and my other friend. Now, what you're about to see is a new hack to me. I've never seen this before, but watch what he does to me. Watch how he does it. Downs me. And... Is just staring at me. McHooligan ends up dying due to reverse damage. But check this out. Picks me up. And now I'm stuck in that animation. He does the same thing to my buddy Try Me. Picks him up, doesn't even do a full animation. And now we're stuck in this kneeling position. And throughout the entire round, I was staring into the wall until I ended up getting mercy killed by the other team. So now we're both stuck in this animation. And of course, Hannah's ult is still moving because they're in cahoots. So I ended up dying here. Not, not even a big deal. I just wanted to spectate. Because at this point, they're just they're just going balls to the wall with the hacks. Still end up losing, by the way. It's just, it's just embarrassing. Now, the other team got smart, and they all ran shields. And that's how they're able to counter the cheating. Now that the other team has figured out that, oh, we should probably be shield operators. So that way, they don't get killed immediately. Well... 
what you're about to see next round is going to surprise you. Keep watching. So you're going to see that everyone at this point is really fed up with Wheat V6. We can't even play the game. We love this game, by the way. It's just when things like this happen, it, it ruins it for everyone. So I'm not so sure what Wheat V6 is. I don't know how they're able to do that. But they literally have every cheat downloaded. Just doesn't look at them, doesn't aim, still running, and kills the other team. Not so sure what happened there, but you can clearly see that Montaigne is completely safe. Now, it's funny, McCooligan and Try Me are trying to protect Montaigne by body blocking Weep V6. But you would think that Montaigne is completely safe when he's fully shielded, right? Well, let's see it. Now watch this. This is crazy. Right through the shield. Melees him right through the shield. So like I said, we were fed up at this point. We couldn't... We were talking a lot of smack. We couldn't play the game the way that we wanted to. Hey, at least Weep V6 finished the game really quickly. Because we couldn't take it anymore. It was just not fun at this point. Just not even looking. Just running and gunning. Everything Siege tried not to be, Weep V6 made it that way. Alright, Montaigne, just stay shielded. Just don't open up your shield. Stay in the corner. Doesn't matter. Alright, so we're here at the R6 tracker and we are looking at Weep's profile. Well, surprise, surprise, just started the season with deep freeze operation deep freeze kd of 2.23 ridiculous and then we go over here and it says like the out of the 11 matches 5.25 kd every match is a 12.60 kills per match or whatever 63 kills 12 deaths insane 100 percent win who would have thought yeah, this is, and and you notice here, like we're gonna look at Hannah's alt because like you notice that they're in bronze, right? We're we're in bronze, and Hannah's alt, you can see one point seven, one point seven one KD, and the entire seat like seventeen matches, the KD has been one point nine two, and it's like, how bad do you have to be if you have to hack? in one of the lowest elos in Rainbow Six Siege. You're hacking as a bronze three in rank. Like, how bad well, How bad do you have to be? This, this is just, it's just ridiculous. So, obviously these are alt accounts and they're probably gonna buy the game again and start cheating. But I just have to ask, if you have to cheat in a multiplayer game, especially when you're in a really low rank and a low elo, is it? How is that fun? It just doesn't make any sense. Like, don't, if you can't play a multiplayer game without having to cheat, honestly, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't play the multiplayer game, or at least try to learn how to be good. I don't know what the situation or the background story of these two are, but it's like. It, it's ridiculous.